Hi guys, welcome back. Today what we're going to do is actually take a look at the effect of loft, but as we know, loft is going to send the ball higher or lower and it's going to increase spin or decrease spin through your bag. But what does it do if we just take a single club like a driver when we play around with the lofts that we set on the driver and what effects does that have to the ball, the spin, the distance and is there really an optimum loft for you? If you enjoy the video, please do smash that like button down below and if you are new here, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it. You'll get notified of every new video I post. So what we'll do, we'll hit some drives with my driver set up in my normal loft, which is nine degrees. And we'll then put it down to seven and a half degrees and we'll put it up to 10 and a half degrees. And we'll hit a few shots with each loft and then have a little look at the numbers at the end and just compare. So now we've hit all those drives, let's have a look at the numbers and just compare some of the data and why that might be. So if we look at my current driver loft, which is nine degrees, all the numbers across there are exactly what I'd expect to see. We've got 12 degrees of launch, 3,300 backspin, and a carrier 251 running out to 265. If we then took loft off, so we're only taking one and a half degrees away, but it then takes away a little bit of ball speed. It does take away about a degree and a half of launch, Interestingly, it's adding about 400 RPM backspin. Now, obviously, I could misstrike the ball slightly. I was trying to hit every shot as close to the middle as I could with the same kind of swing speed or as close as to the same swing as I possibly could each time as well. So there will be a little bit of variable depending on how I hit it and how I swing it. That then, with those numbers, actually dropped me down to 241 as a carry, sneaking it to 255 with the runout. If we then add one and a half degrees aloft to the nine degrees, we're actually getting very similar ball speed to the seven and a half degrees of 153, launching the ball higher. So we're launching at 13 and a half degrees and spinning it a little bit less than seven and a half and a little bit more than the nine degrees. So all those spin rates, to be honest, are within kind of close enough margins to each other that we'd say the loft hasn't had a great effect on those. Carry wise, we're at 248, which is very close to my nine degree drivers. What that tells me is that I play better with my driver with a little bit more loft than less loft. As soon as I took away the loft, I struggled to find a strike and I was struggling to get the ball up in the air. So that's those two things aren't gonna be great when I'm trying to hit the ball as far as I can. Whereas as soon as I gave myself a little bit more loft, I found a better strike, I got a better height on the ball and that equated to much better distance. So, so what I wanted this video to show you really is when you get fitted, don't be afraid to play around the lofts. Don't think that you have to have a nine degree loft if you're a certain type of player or you have to have a high loft if you're a kind of beginner or game improver player make sure when you get fitted that person is going to be trying you out in different lofts and making sure you get the right kind of launch numbers spin numbers and if you can do that you're going to find the best kind of distances with your driver so that is why a fitting is so important guys you've got to make sure that you're not leaving any stone unturned when it comes to trying out new clubs and trying out the specs of those new clubs to suit you as best as possible. If you enjoyed that video guys, please smash that like button down below. It really does help the channel. And if you haven't already or are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it will notify you of every new video I post. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe and I'll see you next time.